Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is square roots and cube roots in the number system. So if you see in the number systems, it has a wide variety of topics inside itself to be covered for an aptitude exam. One among the important thing is you should know the square roots and the cube roots. Though it appears to be a very simple chapter, you can find at least one or two problems in any kind of aptitude exam. So the basic of it, root of x, y is nothing but which can be rewritten as root of x into root of y. Similarly, the root of x by y can be written as root of x into root of y and it can be rewritten by multiplying the same digit from the numerator and the denominator. So if you do that, you know both square roots becomes a normal one. So root of y into root of y becomes y and root of x into root of y can be rewritten of root of x y by y. So why are we knowing this? So in the initial problems, you don't have to know all these things because it will be a normal straight cut square root or a cube root. But when you're solving a tougher problems, you should know how we can multiply it with a similar number in the numerator and denominator to reduce it to a common value. So let's get started with the simpler sums. The first question is very simple. We are just asking you the square root of 0 0.0009, so which is nothing but 0 0.0009. We know that it can be rewritten as 9 divided by 1000 because we have 4 digits after the decimal point, we are putting 4 zeros here, which can be written as 3 by 100 because we are removing the square root. Square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 10,000 is nothing but 100, which is nothing but 0 0.03. So this can be simplified as this. So if you know the square root very well, you can directly write it as 0 0.03. You don't have to do all these steps. So the next question, so find the value of square root of 20 by 25 by 16, which can be written as 25 is nothing but 5 into 5 divided by 16 is nothing but 4 into 4. So which is nothing but 5 by 4. So if you know the square roots of the one digit numbers thoroughly, you can see the sum and directly write it as 5 by 4. You don't have to do the medial step to waste your time. So let's go to the next question. So the next question is evaluate the square root of 248 plus the square root of 51 plus 169. So how do we do it? Always remember you have to start it from your right hand side and go towards your left to solve this. So first 248 write it as such plus 51 also write it as such plus root of 169 is nothing but 13. So it becomes 51 plus 13. 51 plus 13 is nothing but 64. So write it in the next step. 248 plus square root of 64. So we know square root of 64 is nothing but 8. So it becomes 248 plus 8. So add it. If 248 plus 8 is nothing but 256. The square root of 256 is nothing but 60. So how did we solve it? It's a very simple sum. Only trick that you should know is you have to start it from the right hand side. So solve this 169, then add it along with the next number, form a square root of that, then you add it to the next number, solve it, you will get the final answer. So let's go to the next sum. So the next sum is they have given if value of a into b into c is equal to square root of a plus 2 into b plus 3 whole divided by c plus 2, then find the value of 6 into 15 into 3. So what we have to first do, equate the values. So a is equal to 6, b is equal to 15 and c is equal to 3. So now we know the value of a, b and c and it's very simple to solve this. So how do we do it? a plus 2 into b plus 3 divided by c plus 1. Now we know the value of a, b and c just substituted here. So value of a is nothing but 6. So 6 plus 2 into value of b is 15, 15 plus 3 divided by c value is 3, so 3 plus 1. So it becomes 6 plus 2 is 8 into 15 plus 3 is 80 divided by 4. It becomes 144, 64, yeah, 144 divided by 4. So 144 is nothing but square root of 12. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So the value of 6 into 15 into 3 is nothing but 3. So how did we do this? It's very simple. They have given everything in the question. You have to find the value of A, B and C. 
equated to the question that they have given put it in the one that they have given already in the question once you solve it you will get the final value so in this video we solve the very simple sums that are going to fall under square root and the cube root in the upcoming videos we will be solving much tougher problems in the same topic to understand the overall concept better so if you are a person who is looking for a job kindly register in our freshersworld.com like this video subscribe to our channel thank you